walk around the compound, see some tigers, hear some squeaks, some peets. Here we go. Hi. Hello. Hey, pretty girl. How are you? Very sweepy. It's kind of a silly question. Kind of a silly question to ask if you're sleepy. It seems very much so that you're enjoying a nice, relaxing, curled up peat kind of afternoon. I mean, the air is pleasant. Like the sun is not just beating down. There's a bit of breeze. I mean, honestly, it's like, it's not bad in the way of like nap conditions. The nap conditions are good. <laughs> oh, she's just such a good girl. Just such a good girl. I don't know. I don't know what sort of kitties I'm going to be able to get today. Ooh. Oh, oh. oh, from where did you come? You were hidden. You were. Oh, my goodness. You were just, you're so sneaky. You're so sneaky. You're so good at sneaking. Ooh. Good girl. I would have been oh so dead. Oh, stretch. Oof. I hear you, Gas. Oh my gosh, do you see her? Okay, she's laying. She's laying on the drawbridge. Not the draw, but the but the bridge. And she's just hanging her head over the side and then she just squeaked at me. How lazy. Kind of dialing it in, don't you think there, Cass? Look at her. Sass. Sass. <laughs> Sass. Oh my gosh. How lucky are we? How lucky. We get to enjoy some of these moments. And they don't happen all the time and they're not gonna be forever, but we get to have them right now. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I saw him, he had his head, nope, 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 wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Is he going to put his head back down? Is he going to put his head back down? Looks like he's having a hard time keeping his eyes open. Everyone is just so sleepy. Everyone is just so sleepy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna call this the sleepy cast. Not because everyone is sleeping, but everyone is sleepy. Except you. Except you. You're sneaky. Aha, uh -huh. right? That's pretty good. It's a pretty good joke, I think. You know. She's over there looking, she's like, huh? What are you doing? <laughs> well, hello. Hi, hey, Mr. Poopa Luca. Hi, hey, Mr. Poopa Luca. Hmm. Oh, my gosh. 
I know. Are you feeling pretty good? Are you feeling pretty good? I'm feeling pretty good too. I think I can hear rain. I don't feel rain. But then again, sometimes when the metal gets the sun on it, the metal heats up, starts to flex. Oh, nope, I just felt rain. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. He is a good poopa. Poop to the Luke. Poop to the loop. <laughs> Hello. Uh, everyone's just shedding. So really there's just like tiger fur getting everywhere. It's really a hassle. Oh. Yeah. Kind of more or less in just a chilled out mood. I don't have a, a lot of whack here. You know, kind of intense levels of energy. So that's going to be reflected in the cast that you are receiving. We're just gonna go around, we're gonna see. See what we can see and well, that's, that's it. Oh. Uh oh. I didn't mean for you to get up. You don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to. But I want to. Okay. You don't have to. Hi, baby. Hi. Say goodbye. Sass. Yeah. What a good. What a good girl you are. What a good girl you are. Hi, baby. Yeah. Look at you, good girl. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, hello. Hello. Um. What in the heck? That's a. One of them 18 wheelers. Looks like it was. Probably hauling something, construction materials more than likely, usually pallets of materials because you'll have the truck and then on the back of the truck, and I can see that, it's hard to see from over here, but there's like this little miniature, a little miniature kind of forklift that connects to the truck itself. And I'm not sure if this guy has a hard time like driving stick shift or something like that or if he's interested in the cats because he keeps on having to like stop and start, stop and start. Maybe a little bit of both. Maybe, maybe he's still relatively new to driving stick shift but he's like, you know what? This is not a bad thing. Hi, Ren. Hi, Ren. Hi, Ren. Melissa says hi. Uh, you know why? Because she's here, visiting. She's actually physically here. Melissa is, yeah. Melissa's been here for the past few... Well, she's been here this weekend, and she's going to be here for another couple of days, even though today technically is my last... my last day. What's going on? What are these boys doing? Looks like that's Peaser on the right and Jake on the left. We're just kind of having a little bit of a bop, a bop sesh. One of 
those old bop sashes. Oh, I didn't even do. Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi, hello. It's nice to see you. We get to be here and enjoying the company of all of our friends. Breathtaking. Yano. Hmm. He was mooing yesterday. He's like, you know, it's like I'm getting older. I have to like stretch more often. I just, you know, my moos takes a lot out of me. I don't, I can't recover from the moos like I used to when I was a cub. It like, seemed like more. Sorry, I'm. I was. That was me. I feel. I feel like my, my camera stabilization settings are a little bit different. Not too bad, but a little bit different. That's about how thick these, the plastic for these things is. Yeah. That's what their teeth can do, is teeth marks. We like to keep the ball out like that. Because, um, you know, we'll bring tours through this area. And he's like, look at that ball. That's neat, huh? And then people are all like, oh my gosh. Do you think you could do that with your teeth? No way. I didn't think so. Didn't think so. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, nacho. Oh, nacho cheese with jalapenos. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ren. Look how sweet she is. I think that Melissa was talking about how Ren didn't acknowledge her when she was cleaning her enclosure because Melissa helped us clean the other day and she was out there with us all day all day yeah which I was super impressed because uh, it's hard for people who you know don't work in the compound uh, to all of a sudden you know go to like working all day kind of thing and it was warm sun was out you know so i mean like it's easy to get dehydrated oh my goodness Ooh. but we cleaned all the enclosures and like we were take it wasn't just that because like we were removing all of the hay because cats don't need it anymore so we were getting all the hay and some of the enclosures some of the housing units had a ton of hay so you're taking all this hay out and you know at varying stages of dryness, some of the hay was pretty, pretty stinking soaked and pretty heavy. And then you're doing that, so you're taking out hay, and we're also filling up swimming pools. So dumping pools, swimming pools, or dumping pools, filling pools, bailing pools out. Doing that. And then after all that stuff, two cows. Butchered two cows. Melissa did that too. She did that with me. Never butchered cows before. And I, I gave her a bit of a one of those little like little crash course. Little uh cutting up cow crash course. Cut cow crash. Triple C. She did great. She did good. Really good. Like actually kinda was a natural at it. Just understood the concepts of it very very easily, very readily. So yeah, you know, really talented behind the scenes kind of content manager, uh, video editor, just really understands, uh, just understands like the, the platforms and the channel and 
just the vibe that we're trying to create and can also cut up cows pretty good and can hang tough all day versatile your versatile gal noe noe she's all tuckered out all tuckered out from being all horned up for so long she's running around flopping what are you doing are you trying to kill me are you trying to have murder I didn't think that you were going to notice me. I didn't think that you were going to. No, this is awkward. That's what she's saying. This is awkward. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep the camera in this position, but I'm gonna actually turn my body. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Goodness, 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 goodness. Goodness, 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 goodness. Where are you? You're twitching your tail. She was twitching her tail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She was. I wasn't making it up. I wasn't joshing. I wonder if that phrase was coined or because it was just like a guy. Um, there was a guy named Josh who was like a notorious, like sarcastic prankster kind of can't take him seriously kind of guy. Ah, uh, yes. In in 1874, there was a man named Joshua Hoover. would never, who would tell tall tales in the town. He would say to, <laughs> he would say to people, excuse me, but I think your child is on fire. And they would run home. <laughs> Excuse me, and then he would, he would describe, he would describe the child. He was like, "Do did, did you have a son? Do you have a son named Daniel?" And the, the, the poor, unsuspecting woman was like, "Yes." It's like, "Is he about yay high?" And it's you have you know, <laughs> strawberry blonde hair. He's wearing little overalls. Like, yes, yes, that's my Daniel. He's like, "I believe I saw him on fire." <laughs> like, oh my god! He's <laughs> like, she runs, and then of course, little Daniel's fine. He's fine, and Joshua got quite a kick out of it and people would say why are you always why are you joshing stop joshing us hi <laughs> that's where that term came from ah poopaluka i've just basically stayed like just in the upper I'm just I kind of stayed up in the upper. So I'm probably going to have to spend a little bit of that time going into the lower. But I wonder how much into the lower should I go? Ooh. Ooh. Hi, Luke. Ah, poop, Luca. Yeah, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. Hmm. Gates open right there. Just gotta go through it. I just have to go through it so that I can go into the lower. But you're here. And you're a good boy. So, 
I don't know. I don't know what I should do. <gasps> I should go see Meek. Because there's a part of me that was contemplating the whole notion. Oh, there's Luch. There's an Luchia. We didn't see her either. But there's part of me that is contemplating the notion. Oh my gosh, and there's a Meek Meek. She saw me. Uh, basically just doing upper cast for the Tuesday one. And then the lower cast for the Thursday one. Oh, it gets people all interested. What's going to happen? Hmm. And then it kind of changes things up a little bit, too. And you can bet that the Thursday cast is going to be fairly similar to... The one that I'm doing right now, literally Mika is right behind that bush. You really can't see her, but she is. Meek Meek! Actually, hold on if you can. There she is, yep, you can see her. She's staying pretty hidden, huh? So yeah, it's just gonna be kinda walking around feeling just kinda Feeling just kind of chill, just grooving, just grooving with the kitties. That's what this week's casts are going to be, maybe. Hi. Hi, hello. Mika Pika. Meek Peek. Hi, sweetie. She's like, she's trying to yawn, but then she gets like a mouthful of grass or whatever these things are. Be very silly. Come here. Come here and say hi. I want to get some snuffles. I want to get some up close snuffles. Could you please, could you please come here. Meek, meek. Meek, meek, meek. Mika. Mika, Mika, Pika. Meek. What if I did? If I got down, what if I got down and I hid from you? She's not taking the bait. I can see her through the grass. She's... She looks like she might be interested. Too smart. She's too smart. <sighs> Hi, bud. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh my gosh, this is perfect. Now we get to go and see Alucia because she came into the lockdown and she got a little bit closer. This is perfect. Now I don't have to worry about either shortening the cast. Or not putting certain or going into the upper because you know it's like I was thinking well maybe I have to go into the into the lower section of the compound but I wanted to be able to have two separate kind of casts two cast flavors hi Lucha Lu hi Lucia he's a good girl Oh my gosh, look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. What amazing teeth. Did you make them yourself? If so, that's pretty cool. Ooh. <laughs> hmm. Haven't we seen so much of you already? Haven't we seen so much of you already? 
What is this? The Luca shell? He seems to think so. Luca seems to think it's the Luca shell. And then I got, okay. Mika's now right up next to the fence. We can get those up close snuffles that I was wanting. I was wanting some up close snuffles. Hi. Meek, meek. Where are your snuffles? Where are where are your snuffles? Did you forget them? Did you forget them in your dresser? Oops. Well, I left my snuffles on the bedside table. Oh well. Hmm. some of that grass there. Well, that's okay. You can get snuffles some other time. Alright. Thanks for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a little bit, uh, a little bit different. Again, just a little bit more relaxed. I'm just feeling relaxed. And, yeah. I guess we'll see you on Thursday when I go into, well, I mean, like right now, I'm going to go into the lower, but for you, it's going to be a couple of days. Oh my gosh, it's like that time travel stuff. Got my pim particles and everything. <laughs> anyway, hashtag Dorbus Ward in the comment section below. Like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll talk to you folks later. All right. Bye-bye.